come with me as I explore many places throughout France for the next couple weeks here on my channel. But first off, let's catch my Delta flight over to Charles de Gaulle Airport in Paris, France. Bienvenue à Paris. Uh, I'm waiting for my valise, my luggage. Um, and then at some point today, I will be taking uh, the train to Marseille. So stay tuned. So I have grabbed my luggage and I went down to the train station connected right in Charles de Gaulle Airport. So I'm headed down to my TGV train, which is cheaper and more eco-friendly than flying from Paris to Marseille. The train ride is about four hours from Paris. And this train was actually a little bit older, probably one of the older trains that I rode while in France. And it was actually quite hard for most people, including myself, to figure out where the seat numbers were, which I'll show you in just a moment. So come with me and enjoy my journey throughout France the next couple weeks. And make sure you hit that subscribe button and a notification bell. It is free for you to do so. And if you're already a subscriber, thank you so much. I truly appreciate it. Now let's get into this video in Marseille, France. Bienvenue au Francais. I have made it to Marseille, France to start my trip. It's been a long two days or a day I don't even know anymore, but it's been a long two days. Um, but I'm staying at the Holiday Inn Express. St. Charles is right across the street from the train station, which is what I came in on and I'll be leaving on in less than two days because I'm leaving early in the morning. This hotel doesn't really catch my fancy like they still have carpet on the floor like just no no but I do have a nice view apparently can't really see it now it's, it's dark outside but we'll we'll check that out in the morning um but a girl is hungry so I'm going to just check this out and then go get something to eat Quick notes about this room. The TV really only had news channels, which was unfortunate, and you couldn't connect your device to the TV, but they did have Wi-Fi that was reliable, and they did have a breakfast available downstairs, and the hotel rooms were reasonably priced. The only issue I had was that this was a non-smoking hotel, and someone was definitely smoking on my floor to the point it seeped into my room. So did not like that at all, but they did handle it quickly. So tonight we're gonna have dinner at Chicken Chicken. Let's check it out. Since I just got in, I was really tired. I wanted something fast to eat, so I decided to come to Chicken Chicken. Chicken Chicken is like a fast food restaurant and they have a big variety of items on their menu and they cook things pretty fast, but there was only two people working in there and their car machine wasn't working. So luckily I had cash for a quick bite to eat. All right. First morning waking up after a real night's sleep in Marseille. Oh my gosh, absolutely gorgeous. So it was gonna be 50 something today. So I wore this sweater. I think that's all I wanna wear because open window is very beautiful. And I think I mentioned that I was supposed to get a room with a great view and I did, let me show you. This view, absolutely gorgeous. See so how it feels outside. Can't open it that far. Kind of cool. Look at that. Open the window so you can see. So it is warm in my room with the without the window open. So I'm just gonna wear this. Hopefully I don't get too hot, but I can roll up my sleeves, you know. Um, but yeah, I'm getting ready to go on a food tour or Marseille. The meeting point is about 15 minutes away from here. So I'm gonna finish put up with my, putting on my makeup, get some earrings, and head out the door. Cultivate hemp, which was close to cannabis. So the local used to call it la canogio in Provençal, which is a language. Our first food stop is Chez Yazine, which is a Tanzanian restaurant. We start out by trying their house-made juice before trying out different dishes from their restaurant. Silk, capers, olives, um, 
a bit of uh, premium paper, um, scrambled eggs, mm. and everything is cooked inside olive oil. And then this thing is the egg bricks. So you see. In the in the, the, like calisson, you know calisson what it is? Calisson, it's. Uh, uh, the problem is that you may, you destroy the flavor, so you need to add it as a seasoning at the end. For example, if you cook some meat, you put it at the end and not to uh, when you warm it. It will have yes, some flavor of fresh green grass. Uh, so with fish, for example, some salad, BBQ meat. One great thing about this tour is that the tour guide goes in and gets the food for you, is a part of your tour fee, and brings it out to you so you don't have to like suffer and wait in line for the food. And it takes you around to the local shops. By the way, this brioche sandwich was delicious. Next up, our tour guide took us to the Grand Hall in the Old Port to 500 Degrees Pizza. This was a great place because it's a food hall, so there's a lot of different options for food and drinks, and then you can sit outside to eat your food, so everyone can get something that they enjoy at this place. So now we're going to catch the ferry ride to cross the harbor, which takes about 5 minutes and 50 cents in euros. They created this so people who are not accessible can easily cross the harbor without having to walk all the way around. So we're going over to the old side of the port, even though most of the buildings on that old side are newer. This is due to a lot of bombing and demolishing during World War II, but they did preserve some buildings like this one. The relationship between Marseille and the sea and agriculture. They used to come in Marseille, and also very uh, big family in Marseille used to live here, so family Medicis, which was family of the wife of the World War II. And uh, you guys want to choose the flavor that uh, the many options. Merci. Uh, chocolate. Merci. I bought some of these chocolates to take home with me and they're already gone. I wish I had more. Anyway, this was our last stop, which is right next door to the chocolate place where we got to try different types of biscuits and one actually has an orange flavor to it. So, well worth the stop. So I just finished doing a food tour here in Marseille, which was a great experience. Um, got to try a lot of different traditional foods here in the city and it's not filling, but a lot of walking. So you get to burn off everything that you eat. So now I'm gonna try to see if I can go to the castle. So it's too late to go to Chateau Diff. Like the chateau or castle is still open, but it's too late to catch the boat over. So now I'm gonna walk to Palais Longchamp, which is a 30 minute walk. Bienvenue to Palais Longchamp. Uh, we're gonna walk around, take some photos, and check this out. This is free. Um, and it's open all day. Like I said, let's take in the glory of Palais Longchamp, which is something you must see when you're in Marseille, and it has a wonderful park surrounding it. It has a historical monument that was built to bring water to Marseille. So back in 1835, there was a cholera epidemic that hit this city because of a water shortage. So after this tragedy, there was an architect by the name of Franz Mayor de Montrachet, I hope I'm saying that right, and he was chosen to implement a project to create an excavation canal to bring water from the river all the way to Marseille. So this is part of this project, and now it's such a beautiful place to check out while in Marseille. This is absolutely gorgeous. There's a lot of locals here just coming, just sitting around, relaxing, and being at peace, and just resting here. It is a Wednesday afternoon, and just a lot of people are out here at Palais and Lancia. So I'm gonna take this line bike back. We don't want snow. 
full. Okay, so back to the hotel because my feet hurt and I'm tired of walking. So, that's me. Y'all, it has been a day of walking. So, I told you I was gonna take the line bike back through Uber so you could register the bike on there. <laughs> horrible because I had to constantly check directions on where I was going because it was like, oh, use this phone rest at your own risk. I was like, how do you even, how does your phone even stay up there? So I was like, I ain't using that. So yeah, I took the bike back. Um, I hit a curb once because <laughs> I thought the curb was lower than what it was supposed to be. Um, and then it got kind of dangerous because like, I guess it's rush hour or whatever, people getting off work. But the worst part about it is like park I tried to end the ride like a million times and it's like, oh, park in a designated area. The map doesn't tell you anywhere on there where to park this bike. So I just kept walking and walking and then eventually it was like, oh, you're near a designated parking area, but it still doesn't tell you where. So very annoying. So I'm gonna rest here in my hotel room just a bit. Um, but the sun is setting like absolutely gorgeous. Can't you see the sun is going on my face? But look at this. Mm -hmm. Gorgeous. So like I said, I'm going to just go sit down for a while, take off my shoes, rest my feet a bit before I go to dinner um, in my day here in Marseille. So for my last night in Marseille, I wanted to eat down by the harbor. I wanted the nice views, the nice scenery, and that's where the hotel actually recommended most of the best restaurants would be is around the harbor. So I came to La Pearl. So La Pearl, I was able to just walk in. It wasn't a busy night and give me a seat right away. I ordered a strawberry daiquiri, but mind you, none of their drinks had alcohol in them from what I saw. And then I got this salmon dish, which was delicious. The meal ended up costing me about 41 US dollars. So that could be kind of high if you don't want to spend that much, but the salmon was delicious. And if you come during the day, you can actually really see and look out at the harbor. Okay, I made a great random choice for dinner. I really wanted seafood since we're off the sea. I'm like, it should be good. And it was, salmon was delicious, rice, everything was good about that dish. All right, back at the train station in Marseille to head to Arlay, less than an hour trip. Off to Arl we go. So I hope you enjoyed this Marseille France vlog video. So if you enjoyed this video, please make sure you hit the like button. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when my next series of my France vlog series comes out. And if you're already a subscriber, thank you so much. I truly appreciate it. Make sure you share this video with your friends, family, and social media networks. And if you would love to support my business more, you can check out my business at the link down below. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day or night wherever in the world you are. Bye.